the home of the do-it-yourself trucker. When everything goes wrong, you got a redneck in that. Well, hey, what's going on, truckers out there? Hey, this is Ed with Redneck and Eyes coming at you live. We come live every Sunday evening at 7 p.m., 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and you can call in at 516-387-1733 to be part of the conversation. And we appreciate everybody joining in. So uh, we were just kind of hitting the news and highlights of what's going on on the road and, uh, and different kind of things. So uh, uh, I was just noticing that there was a lot of local stuff, uh, like a lot of lo local uh, necessarily, like, like they're just not trucking affiliated websites that were, uh, you know, that were associated with what was going on in the industry. And I just thought that was, that was uh, different, you know, and, and everything. But, uh, but what caught my eye and it was kind of funny uh, because, you know, we've always been a big fan of these old time shows back in the, back in the seventies and eighties, but uh, on freightways.com, it's a Dukes of Hazard star to deliver trucking inspired country album. And of course, this is, uh, if anybody's out there following social media, he's out there all the time talking about it. And that's uh, John Schneider. So it says here, the John Schneider, uh, you know, he's an actor and a musician. I remember him, he, he had some songs. I don't know if he had an album out back in the day, but but I think he did. And, and, and uh, I mean, it was all right, he, you know. I mean, he's not like, you know, awesome or anything like that where, where he can, but I mean, you know, how good do you have to be sometimes to, to put out an album, you know? But uh, it says, uh, of course, known for his role, Dukes of Hazard, he will release a trucking inspired country album called Truck On on April 2nd. So that's coming right up. So that's not too far off. So Schneider has always released tracks from the album called Born at a Truck Stop, a cover of a song by Jacob Linda, Lida, is that how you say it? Uh, and Truck On, co-written with country singer Keith Burns. The album will focus on life on the road and the challenges of the past year. Schneider was inspired by the resilience of the trucking industry as over the road drivers continue to deliver goods during the COVID-19 shutdown. It says, during the pandemic, while my wife, Alicia, and I were traveling the country, we noticed more trucks on the road and at truck stops and the fuel pumps and, and we've ever before. It became obvious that the country runs on the shoulders of our truck drivers and we wanted to pay tribute to the truly uh, unsung hero of our world. Schneider said in an interview with Par uh, Parade Magazine. See, that's cool too. You know, I always have to take note of that, that, you know, he's talking to a magazine that is like a regular magazine. It's not a, uh, it's like an entertainment magazine. So it's not uh, anything trucking related and it's more mostly entertainment related. And of course, you know, that's great that he does an interview talking about how great trucking is uh, to, you know, the regular folks. Cause you know, I tell you what, they, we don't see them hearing that enough. And uh, we liked, we like that when that happens. It says uh, Schneider has decided to give a portion of the album sales to the St. Christopher, uh, the St. Christopher truckers development and relief fund, a nonprofit organization that helps over the road drivers and families when they have uh, experienced an illness or an injury that keeps them off the road. St. Christopher helps cover expenses, including rent or mortgage, utilities, vehicle payments, and insurance. Uh, we dealt with the St. Christopher Fund. We know those people over there that, that do that, and, and that, is a, that is a great outfit, good, good people over there. Uh, truck drivers put thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of miles on their trucks every year, said Schneider. Each one of those miles represents time away from their family. It's important for us to be involved uh, with the St. Christopher Truckers Fund because this is an organization that helps drivers uh, provide for their families while they are away. It's also a way for us to help those who have been helping us throughout these hard times. Because because uh, it's always important that, you know, when, when mainstream things happen uh, that involve trucking in a good way like this, we always want to make sure that it gets out there as best we can and everything. So I was just clicking to make sure that it, that, you know, I marked this to know where to go back to and, and, and look at it later on, but it, it's a big deal. And, uh, I hope it's good. I hope everything else is good. I hope that the whole album is good. Uh, you know, I hate when things suck, uh, like that. So, so, you know, sometimes music is good, but sometimes music isn't good. So we have to, we have to always worry about that, you know, to hope it doesn't suck. Hope it, hope people like it. So, yeah, that's interesting. You know, there's, uh, I would, I would like to see more people get into trucking songs like back in the day. I mean, everybody knows that like in the seventies and early eighties, the, the the country music singers, like, like the people that were topping the charts in the country music, they had truck driving songs, you know, and then, and then they, and then you ask other people that have gotten their like, you know, inspiration from why they became a performer is from like, you know, the singers 
uh, that did truck driving songs, you know, like like the Red Servine and the, and the uh, uh, what do you call it? Dudley, I forget, is, is it uh, Dave? Is that his first name? And then C.W. McCoy and all those guys. It, those, I mean, that those kind of guys, it was it was awesome. And, you know, I still got a lot of their CDs and stuff where they threw it all together. You know, you go to a truck stop back in the day when you had to, when you still bought CDs or cassettes, you could buy uh, CDs and cassettes that had like, you know, 20, 30, 40 songs, all trucking, all collaborated on, on one CD. And, uh, and they weren't expensive at all. And of course, nowadays, everybody's mainstream and, and online and everything. But, you know, even some of the guys that we know, uh, like Taylor Barker and, and uh, um, Tony Justice and Bill Weaver, they've got their music online, you know, they where you can go and you can find it and you, you can you can see it and download it and add it to your playlist and all that stuff. And, and that's just it's just a great opportunity for that to happen like that. And we we couldn't be more excited to be having that kind of stuff, you know, and it's. Uh, I always told drivers when you're talking about new drivers coming in the industry, I always told them, you know, what what other kind of job do you know where they, they sing songs and make movies about you? You know, I mean, that's, you know, that was the coolest thing about being a truck driver is that you were always talked about in, in that life, in the, in the community of singers and, and, and uh, actors, and performers. Of course, they always travel, so they got to see the truck drivers out there. So, so it was a big deal. But uh, other than that, you know, we're just trucking right along here. Uh, talking about redneck and nice and what, what we do is is uh, we got started back in 2012 as we just kind of came together we just kind of got into a, a deal where we were meeting every year at the parking lot down there at uh, Jimmy John's uh, parking lot I don't know what they call it now the University of Louisville Cardinal Stadium at the Mid-America Trucking Show and what we what the cool thing about it was is that year after year it was like we'd get there and we'd set up and of course we always made sure we brought like we brought the grill and the food and the, and the heat or a tent or some some way to to where we can collaborate in one area and stay warm when it got cold or stay dry when it rained and then made sure we had plenty to eat and it became where more and more people were just coming by and hanging out more and more people were just showing up and and then we always wanted to make sure we got you know a good spot and we always wanted to make sure that we were able to do what we wanted to do and so we got with like you know the people that were in charge of that area and, and in charge of what goes on and we was like how can we be part of this and all that and they said uh they said well most of these people are all charities and all that and i was like i was like what does that mean what do they do and and they're like well you know like that they're over there those those people are given to the saint christopher fund those people are given to saint jude those people over there are helping out you know like uh the local uh you know dog pound or kennel or whatever like that and, and I'm like, well, that's that's all fine and dandy. You know, what else? What, you know, what else can we do? What else could we do as we recognize? And I always thought that it was important that we try to provide some type of education or information to where we can get the word out to not only just truck drivers, but the regular people out there about trucking and about how truck drivers deal with stuff out on the road. And so that's kind of what we've evolved into is, is like, you know, we started just trying to share a website and communicate on social media about the importance of trucking and driving safely and being out there and looking out for trucks and being in your car and looking out for trucks and it evolved into you know making youtube videos about looking out for truck drivers and being out on the road and living out on the road and handling problems out on the road and then we were given this opportunity to do a, a podcast every uh every evening or i mean every week on sunday evening and uh and it's just kind of grown into this and you know we're getting through it seems like we're we're doing all right so uh so we're hoping that uh that everything goes well so we're uh, excited about it so yeah just uh if you want to you can call in at 516-387-1733 